Before we dive into this video and into the series, there's a couple things I'd like to discuss with you. The first and foremost is this series was sponsored by Uber. Now with that being said, the opinions expressed in this video are true and they are my own. Now aside from that, the purpose of this video series is number one, to educate you, to educate the audience so that you get to see a different side of Uber, um, a side that really nobody I think has ever really gotten to see before. You're gonna to get to kind of experience a different perspective, uh, the inner workings, if you will, of Uber. And I think that makes this video very special and it's one of the reasons I was really excited to bring this to you. Um, now more importantly than getting a new perspective, I think is the real purpose, the real intention of this video is to open a dialogue between Uber and you, they genuinely want to talk, they want to hear what you have to say, but it seems that every time Uber tries to have a dialogue with its driver partners, um, there's a lot of backlash, and believe me, they understand why, but that is not going to get anybody anywhere. They genuinely want to hear what you have to say, so please comment below, but please do it respectfully. Let's try to remain civilized here. This is an attempt by Uber to reach out to you and explain their side of how things work, why things are the way they are. And with that being said, they would love for you to comment and give your thoughts. So with that being said, enjoy the video. All right, so before we jump into the specifics of 180 Days of Change, I want to introduce you to Aaron Schilkraut who is responsible for making your driving experience better. So Aaron, thank you for allowing me to be here and sharing this with the audience. Thanks for having me. What is it you do at Uber specifically? I know uh, your title is head of driver product, right? Yeah. What, what does that mean? So I've actually done a bunch of things at Uber. Uh, this is the most recent and I've been doing this for about the last year and I'll tell you about it. Before that, um, I've worked on, I ran our data team. Uh, I worked on marketing, um, so I ran our global marketing efforts for quite some time. Um, I worked on growth, and then more recently, which has honestly been by far the most fulfilling and exciting part of my um, time at Uber, I've been in charge of the driver experience. So I've been running uh, the driver product team, which basically means we have around 300 uh, people, mostly engineers, designers, product managers, who spend all day and most of our nights uh, focused on uh, building the driver app and all the things around the driver experience. Uh, and so I run the product part of that team. And um, yeah, it's been amazing. It's been an awesome experience. You've been very busy. Many of us are, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've also been busy. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so what's the main function of your current position at Uber? So my 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 main job is basically to organize large groups of people at Uber uh, across many geographies and organizations to deliver an amazing, cohesive experience to drivers. Okay, so there's 300 people and they're focused on, on what exactly? What, what is it that everybody's working towards? Okay, yeah, so this is cool. I don't think we've actually really ever explained this very clearly out externally. So. You're the first. Awesome. Um, I don't know if that's actually true, but it's good. I'll take so, it. So, okay. So, so the way the way we build at Uber, um, first of all, there's two. There are many different organizations at the company that are all working to provide a great experience. There's two primary organizations. One is technical, and that's like product and engineering and design that build the products. And the other is operations. Uh, and operations is actually many things, but f like let's think of it as support plus all of the people in uh, local offices around the world who support drivers and who support riders in the cities in which Uber operates. So I run the, the product side of the driver team. Um, actually, many of those teams work to help drivers. So for instance, the marketplace team uh, is in charge of dispatch. Uh, matching riders and drivers. Uh, that's obviously has a huge impact on drivers. Um, so my role is both to run like the specific driver team and I also to lead um, along with some, uh, some other people uh, like Rachel Holt for instance who is like on the emails with me that we send to drivers. Um, a large scale effort across all of those tech teams and across 
uh, the ops teams to transform the driver experience. Wow. So I think there's a lot more going on behind the scenes at Uber than, than the viewers probably realize. All True. they all, all they see on, <laughs> on their end is more than app. we realize. <laughs> they push a button, they go online, a passenger puts, pushes a button, they're online. I don't, I don't think people really understand how much is involved behind the scenes here. We, I, I've had people say to me, oh, I thought it was like six or seven engineers who were building this <laughs> app. <laughs> and sometimes it feels like that, frankly. Uh, so, so, but it, no, it's, it's many, many, many hundreds of people, probably thousands if you right. um, take everything into account, who are literally spending all day, every day, just thinking about how to improve the driver experience. So what would your favorite part of working at Uber be? Honestly, Aside from this interview. Yeah, well, this is number one. Um, uh, so, like, really, my favorite. The, okay, the driver part. I'm not just saying this, um, even though it might seem that way. The driver part of what Uber does is, to me, like, by far the coolest, most important, most interesting part of my work. Um, so, I think that providing an always on flexible earnings opportunity to anyone who wants it or needs it anywhere around the world that they can come and go to with no boss, no timesheets, um, truly on their own terms. To me, that's like very revolutionary and just amazing. Well, I come from a, a, a small town in Oklahoma called uh, Midwest City. And up until 2013, we didn't have ride share at all. Uh, and when you guys launched out there, a lot of people didn't even know what it was. Right. Unless you were a traveler, you know, regularly in San Francisco or New York or something, people, people out there didn't even know what Uber was. So to watch Uber grow from something that nobody knew into everybody knows what Uber is now. You know, it's the app you push a button and a car shows up at your door in five minutes. Yep. And I use Uber all the time myself, so it's really changed the way I commute too, um, especially when I'm going to an airport or something, instead of having to drive my car and park and figure, figure all that out. You just push a button, someone shows up, takes you to the door, drops you off, and you're done. So what you guys have done is really amazing. And uh, you're definitely changing the world for the better. At least that's my opinion. I think so. All right. So in a few sentences, what exactly is 180 days of change? Step one was deep listening uh, and really formulating an understanding of what was most important. And it'd be easy to say, like, it's obvious. Just pay attention. Like, you know, just raise rates or whatever. Um, but we wanted to get much more nuanced. You know, what exactly about pool is like problematic? Like drivers want flexibility, but what does that really mean? And what exactly do we provide to enhance that flexibility? Um, and so out of that came the idea that we were, we, we one, realized change was needed. Uh, and two, we said, okay, we're going to commit to an intense, steady process of delivering feature after feature after feature after feature that address the things that drivers are just telling us, hey, you need to fix this. Um, and that, we you know, branded that 180 days yeah. of change in the US, um, but really what it was, was a commitment to a steady, incredibly focused, um, effort to transform, to do a 180 on the driver experience. Why is 180 days important to Uber driver partners? 180 days I think is important for two different reasons. One is it represents a strong commitment by Uber to pay attention, to be partners, right? right. Like to really, really be committed to the relationship we have with drivers around the world and to every single day be working on the experience to make it better. Uh, and we know we have a long way to go, but the commitment is about constant improvement. The other thing is the actual features. And so every single feature we've launched, you know, was thoughtful and was designed to meet a need that at least some set of drivers had. Uh, and I think the people who had those issues and we solved it, like, felt great about that um, again and again. And so we want to continue that. When it came to doing 180 days of change, how, how were you able to figure out where you needed to focus your energy? Um, well, the most important thing was earnings and still is earnings, just to be clear, like people come to the platform fundamentally to earn. So we started with earnings. And honestly, like when I looked at the situation and as did others who were leading the effort, if we didn't lead with tipping, it would just feel ridiculous, honestly. Like I felt like you should have saved tipping till the end. No. That's like the, I thought that when I saw tipping come out, I was like, are you kidding me? 
No I way. Would, I would, that would have been the last thing I did so that, you know, at the very end, people are like, thank God tipping in this line. All right. The first is if we hadn't done tipping first, I promise you, and you had been like doing blog posts and so forth about this, I promise you every single comment would have been something along the lines of 180, yeah, right, where's tipping? Every single one. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree. And, and rightfully, in my opinion, like I totally get it. And so to me, it was like, we have, to, we have to first say, hey, we're listening and literally the number one feature you've asked for for years is tipping and we've been silent on it or actively saying no. Um, we have to launch it and it's the right thing. And so we did. So that was very, to me, that was a very obvious move. Well, that's gonna conclude uh, part one of this video. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button. Thank you, Aaron, for having me and talking to us about the 180 days of change. Uh, stay tuned for part two. We will be back in the near future. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, stay safe out there, and Uber on. Do you wanna do that last question again? Cause I cut you off. Did you? I felt I did. It felt a little bad. This is where Fine, we're gonna be fine. Okay, so this is this is gonna be. How are you doing? Like, believe it or not, I'm shaky from the coffee I had earlier, and I'm incredibly nervous. Which is, this is like the first time I've ever been nervous. Don't about be nervous. Well, this is like. This Do you want to take a break? Let's take a break.